saw an 18 year old kid turn into a man. And I mean, that's something that I'll never forget. When bullets are landing around your feet, you think you'd stop, but you realise that you don't stop when you're out here. All right, we're moving. Waking up seeing your mum every day or, you know, little things like that you miss. It's the end of a gruelling tour. Men of the Royal Anglian Regiment are leaving their ramshackle base. Their memories, packed away with their mosquito nets, often too difficult or painful to share with mates back home. found, like, no matter how much I tried it, you just couldn't sort of tell them, like, what it was really like. I mean, you could try, but, I mean, they'd never fully understand it. A lot of them just think it's great fun and you just run around like a psycho like they do in the films. Dan is one of four 18-year-olds squashed into a corner of the Sangin headquarters, a collection of dusty, derelict buildings. They are the PlayStation generation, but nobody here is playing games. They're learning to kill and accept that they too may be killed. Listening to them, it's easy to understand why bonds are so strong. I come on this tour with 30 friends, you know, I've got 30 brothers, you know. It's, you know, I look at these lads like they're my family, you know what I mean? This one regiment has lost nine men and had a frighteningly high casualty rate. A fifth of all those stationed here in Helmand has been injured. The Royal Anglians always knew this was going to be the toughest of tours, and so it's proved. They leave behind a permanent reminder of just how high a price they've had to pay. It's a memorial to the friends who've died, both in the battle for Sangin and in the hope of a safer world. Friday the 13th of April, the fiercest fighting of A Company's tour. These are pictures taken by a helmet camera. They show Corporal Robert Moore seconds after he was shot in the arm. Get back! Get back! It literally opened the arm up in a sort of V-shape about two and a half inches wide, where the scar is now, either side. It was just complete down to the bone. If it had hit the arm, the doctor said, that would have been, because we were at that close a range, the velocity of the round would have just ripped the arm clean off. The same exchange killed 19-year-old Chris Gray. His death has changed the way that Corporal Moore reacts to events back home. You watch these kids that leave school and they think an Asbo's a, a battle honour. There's guys here now, same age, who have actually got battle honours. They've been into battle. And they'll go home and I can say every one of those guys is going to hold their head up high. There's a determination not to dwell on losses while they're still away. Smiling soldiers in the river that runs through their camp conceal the stress of the last six months. These are young men who together have overcome the harshest test, now celebrating their survival. Juliet Bremner, ITV News, Sangin.